Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric, and we've got a really fun random episode for you guys this Friday, because we're going to be taking a look at Thrill Drive by Konami, because apparently this does emulate on one version of Main specifically, and I will leave that version in the comments below, because this is a game that I've always wanted to play, and now I finally have a chance to play it and talk about it, because I do own a board for Thrill Drive 2, and this is one of the most slept on franchises from Konami. Before we get to far and loud though, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we have a Patreon link down below as well. But weirdly, even though Konami has made four games in the Thrill Drive franchise, all of these games have basically disappeared from arcades. I've been trying to buy an original Thrill Drive arcade BCB for over a year now, and I have not seen a single one for sale. I do have a Warzade board that will be showing up on the channel later on, and that will run at Thrill Drive too. so I'm going to convert that board over to be able to play it and capture it, because these are games that are impossible to play. If you believe the internet, this game is no longer on any arcade floor in Japan. Now, I'm sure there's a couple of PCBs in collector's hands and I'm trying to become one of them, but we can play it on MAME and that is good enough for me. And you're going to notice I'm not going to be doing many cuts in this video because what this game is, is pure intense racing action. This is as good as something like San Francisco Rush. I would say that now that I've played this game substantially, it may be one of my new favorite arcade racing games of all time. It has absolutely everything I want in an arcade racing game. It is running at a full 60 frames a second, the steering is tight, but the action is intense. The entire hook of Thrill Drive is you need to win the race and you want to try to not crash. Because when you put this game on hard mode, as far as violence is concerned, if you read Japanese, when you have an accident, you will hear sirens and it will say fatality. Your body will shoot out of the front of the window of the car. Now, any game that gives you a Volkswagen wagon, that old boxy style, is a 10 out of 10 in my book. I love that car. What you'll see here in first person mode, weaving in and out of traffic on the highway, dodging these semis, trying not to crash your car. When you are playing this game well and everything is clicking and you're weaving in and out of traffic and just threading that needle, it has a feeling unlike any other arcade racing game I've played in a very long time. I am hooked on this game, I 100% love it, and I think you should play it too because if you're even remotely interested in arcade racing games, you are going to absolutely love Thrill Drive. And the best part is from Konami, a company not really known for making that many racing games that people seem to love. They had things like Racing Jam and other games, but they've definitely all disappeared from arcade floors. And you'll see my first crash there, it says Fatality and my body did shoot through the windshield. There are three courses in this game, Europe, USA, and Japan. I would say Japan is the hardest, USA is the easiest, and Europe is in between. But this game is just pure visceral fun. I love it. You can drift your car around corner. All you need to do is apply a little bit of handbrake and let off on the gas and then go ahead and turn that wheel and you are drifting perfectly. When you drift in between traffic, when you just kind of tap your bumper on a car but you squeak past them like right there, it is just one of the best feeling things in racing. Of course, if you flip your car completely and kill yourself, that is not going to be that great. And you'll see here that when you do end up with a fatality, the screen will get darker and the music will get more ominous. And if you crash your car too many times, you're going to start seeing lightning in the background. It definitely has a very dramatic sort of flair to it. But this is the type of game that I crave these days and that I loved from the 90s. This game came out in 98. It's just classic arcade racing action. But as amazing as this game plays, the soundtrack is quite fun too, and the engine noises are really good for what they are. So go ahead and listen to Thrill Drive for like 45 seconds, and I'll come back and tell you why you need to play this game today. But enjoy!
That soundtrack does exactly what it needs to do. It's intense. When you have your first fatality, it gets ominous to tell you the repercussions of your actions. But going through downtown LA right here, at least I'm assuming it's LA, it's just the US, but it's got that California vibe. I love the graphical style of this game. It just slowed down slightly there, but otherwise this game is running rock solid on this version of MAME. I'm not sure if this is an emulation issue or the game was just feeling generous, but watch me go across the finish line here. I got first place, but if we slow it down, I guess Thrill Drive just wanted to let me win because you will 100% see there is no way I went over that finish line first, but a win's a win and I am going to take it. Now this game might chug a little bit on your system. I have a 99-12900K and a 3080GTX Ti. This is because I have to deal with video editing and I need that horsepower. But if this game does run slightly slower on your rig, it's probably because the emulation is requiring more of your system than it needs and I just have all those extra cores and horsepower to throw at it. But this game running full speed is just amazing. Weaving in and out of traffic here in Europe, going through these tunnels, popping back over to Japan. The only thing I wish this game had more of was more race courses. There's only three, and the races only last for three to four minutes on each. But for the 12 minutes you play this game, it is action-packed, to the wall, fun, intensity. It's just that good. Now, there are more games in this series, but none of them have ever been ported home. I almost put this on Unported Playlist, but I loved it so much, I wanted to do a special Friday episode on it. This is Thrill Drive. There's a sequel on the Konami Viper arcade board called Thrill Drive 2, and once I convert my board to play it and wire up some controls, I will capture that for the channel. There's also Thrill Drive 3, which runs on an arcade version of the PlayStation 2 hardware, and that is undumped. One went up for sale last month and I thought about buying it, but honestly it went up a little bit higher than I wanted to pay currently just because I've already made some acquisitions for the channel. And there is a fourth thrill drive with like one video on YouTube. It's impossible to tell if that game is even any good or not because so few people know about it. But this is an amazing game and I'm so glad that somebody found a version of MAME where it works well in because it was always thought to be really not emulatable well enough to play. And as you can see here, I'm getting a full 60 frames a second, and the best part is, playing with an analog controller, I'm using the Xbox One controller, this game controls perfectly as well. You will have to pop into the test menu and calibrate the controller, but it works perfect, it takes about 20 seconds, and then you were playing Thrill Drive the way it was meant to be played, and weaving in and out of the downtown area in Europe here, sliding around these corners, using the handbrake, it just feels incredible, and it's so unfortunate that this game was not ported home. I can see this on the PlayStation 2, and I'm really surprised Phil Drive 3 never was ported home because it just ran on a PlayStation 2 in arcades. But that's the bummer about these sort of things. Amazing games get lost to time, and for the longest time, Thrill Drive was thought to be lost as well because I don't know if the boards were delicate and broke a lot, but trying to find a copy of this game is proving to be one of my elusive white whales. So if you know of a copy, or you have one and you want to sell it to me, send me a message down below. I am a buyer at any normal price. But this is the type of arcade racing game that I grew up with and that I crave. Of course, like things like Forza Horizon, the newest one, is quite fun, but they just don't have the vibe and the flair of something like Thrill Drive. This is just 90s arcade racing personified, and it is what I want more arcade racing games to be. Konami isn't really known for making racing games. They've made a bunch, but none of them really hit, but I would say... And this is probably right up there with the original San Francisco Rush is one of my favorite arcade racing games of all time. And when you do get bored with just the cars, you can take a city bus out and you can take a semi out. This is hard mode. And they control the same. It's very easy to move them around, but because your vehicle is so big, suddenly it becomes a real big game of Frogger trying to not hit those cars as you cross the highway. You have so much more truck behind you that it just becomes... A perfection moment. You need to be racing this line to absolute perfection to be able to actually see the ending with the semi truck. Yet, if you practice enough, I assure you, you can get there and it will be an absolute blast. I just wasn't doing very well with the truck today. But the really fun part about this game is there's two ways to put your name on the leaderboard. You can either win a race with the best time, or you can do absolutely abysmal like you see here. And I love that my body just shoots out the front of that cab. If you run out of time and you crash enough, you will get one of the worst driver bonuses. I am a bad driver. I put my initials in. And what's going to happen is I am on the leaderboard for worst driver of all time. I crack the code with 92 million yen worth of damage. 
Trust me, if you want to play this game, do it right after the video. I'll leave the version of MAME down below, but Thrill Drive is an absolute 11 out of 10. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.